Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial in the Cocos Code IDE. In this part we'll be looking at running a project on a Mac desktop. This tutorial assumes you have set up and generated a project. To run it on a Mac you will obviously be running the Cocos Code IDE on Mac. You can't be doing this on Windows at all. So let's go ahead and open up our Cocos Code IDE. So just let it open up. Okay, so now that our project is, I mean our Cocos code ID is open, we've got a project generated right here. So, first of all, what we need to do is go to this icon here, which is Debug Configurations, and in here, we're able to select our project, which is, we've only got one there, Cocos JS game, and then you can select how you want to run it. So for this tutorial, we click Mac OS X. Uh, usually, if you, like, if you were to click our Simulator, you can click Apply, because Mac OS X is already selected, don't click apply and click close and there's two ways to debug it there's this way which is Mac debug and it's post breakpoint but it has lower performance then there's just Mac run and it has no breakpoint and high performance so this is great when you implement your features to test it out and this is great when you're happy with it and you just want to see how well it runs so you so because obviously you try you're trying to replicate a similar um, situation compared to a user that would download the other app store so if I were to go and actually no, that's fine I want to go to source app.js it's going to add a breakpoint so to add a breakpoint just double click here or just right click and toggle between breakpoints or oh, yeah. the reason it didn't let, let me add it there because that was a comment so if I just like double click here you'll add it there and if I click this icon you'll run the project and this pops up confirm perspective switch now it's just going to switch to the debug mode and then in here I'm able to check the status of the application I can check variables so breakpoints expressions interactive console etc so this allows me to go to my application using breakpoints so if I click resume the app is now running because there's no more breakpoints and what I'm going to do is just close this down go back to the JavaScript window I want to click this one this time as you can see the breakpoint is still there I'm going to click Mac run and it runs fine because we're not checking for breakpoints so that's the difference between the two different ways to run it on Mac okay so the next tutorial we'll cover running your project on Android if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day